And now for section 10 of the London Loop. Hatton Cross to Hayes and Arlington. Now after the brief sortie around Heathrow and back by the side of the River Crane now. Now out of Crane Bank Park into a little bit of suburbia. This particular section isn't that, isn't that long, it's only uh, three and a half miles. Now on the Bath Road. No, suburbia didn't last that long as I'm uh, back into green bits. And this is um, Barclay Meadows. I think this should be a little bit more flowing than it currently is. It's definitely uh, suffering the effects of uh, low rainfall at the moment. Now this is Cranford Park, uh, which was the ancestral home of the Berkeley family from 1618 to 1918. Uh, however, uh, in 1945 uh, the uh, manor house was demolished because it was in a uh, poor state of repair and the uh, park is now owned by uh, Ounslow Council. It was impressive in its time. And this is what's left of Berkeley Manor. Ha ha! And this is St Dunstan's Church, which has uh, had a church on this site uh, since Saxon times and was originally the chapel of the Knights Templar. This is uh, what used to be the stable blocks of uh, Cranford Hall. Uh, another unusually named wood, this time it's called uh, Dog Kennel Covert. Um, the traffic you can hear by the way is the M4. Now, onto the Grand Union Canal.
And the guide is right, I can definitely smell coffee because I'm passing the Nestle Instant Coffee Factory which has been here uh, since 1938 which was uh, a year after Nestle invented instant coffee. Well, this is where section 10 of the London Loop ends, and section 11 begins.